it's just classic, man. It's legendary because there's a lot of great fighters that go through there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Tijuana was a great experience. You know, it got me got me feeling the little eight ounce gloves. You know, I always remember that. That that was a good good, yeah. good time. What, what do you remember most? The trips, making tag teams with your father? To I make... think just like sometimes they just switch out opponent on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was it was like no rules, but it, I don't know. It was just a good, it was just, I don't know, it brought good vibes. I think Tijuana is like, it's just, they love fighting, you know, and they want you to fight. So I loved it about that. And the, the crowd. And the food. The food was good. Yeah. <laughs> you like the food. The, the crowd was rowdy, but they, hey. When they cheer for you, they cheer yeah. for you. It's crazy. Did, did you recommend other young boxers to the building in Tijuana? Yeah, if they want to, uh, you know, for the first, like, maybe five, five, six fights, you know, have your fights there, get your experience, because, you know, it's different with little gloves. You know, you got to get used to how it will land. So I think if you want to gain experience, go to the booth. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and for this fight, hey, what, what do you expect for you? What do you see, Brian? Greatness. Greatness. <laughs> You're going to see some great stuff. Yeah. I promise you that. Because uh, that's just who I am. I'm always, you know, looking to do something amazing in there. I mean, it's been, since the first time I fought on ESPN, I said I wanted to be on ESPN Sports Center. Then I knocked the guy in 30 seconds. So, you know, that's just my mentality. Like, let me find something great to do. Like, I want to I wanna find it. I'll, I'll keep going hard until I find that shot. Or, you know, I got to do what I got to do to do something amazing. And how do you feel to catch the attention of, like, three generations of, of boxing fans? The young ones, the old ones, the middle ones? Just Everybody do what he wants to watch. I mean, just to make sure I separate myself from this guy, you know? It's one thing to beat a guy you're supposed to beat, but it's how you beat him. You got to make sure he should not have been in this ring with you. That's my mentality. Every time I step in the ring and they said, oh, Ryan's better than this guy. Yeah, but I made sure they know that. I knock him out either in one round, two rounds. That's it. But you never know with this fight. I'm not I'm not trying to say I'm going to knock him out in two rounds. I don't like to say that, but I know that I'll be looking for some good shots for yeah. sure. I, I know you, you had this fight, but what is your dream fight right now? My dream fight got to be Tank Davis. I mean, that's, to me, it's just, there's going to be so many celebrity stars there. The atmosphere you got, you know, it's just the vibe will be immaculate. And I will always remember that fight. So that's my dream fight. And that's a fight that has to happen. I mean, really, it's nothing else. I want him to, I, I do want him to win against Rollies, but I feel like Rollies could win. So I'm like... Please don't lose, but then I'm like, Rosie is a cool dude. I don't, I don't really care. Then you know, it's crazy. Yeah, and to finish, uh, I want to say a, a, a message for the Tijuana Mexican fans. Man, I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. I got a got a soft spot for you guys. I was out there grinding as a young 17-year-old kid, fighting at the booth. What I, I would fight like three times in, in two in weeks. Months, two <laughs> months, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go in. So yeah, love you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the thing. Yep. Okay, so I have to pull him so we can do three minutes grouped. Okay. Sorry. I'll start with you, Ryan. So you're settling in with Joe Goosen, I am. right? I am. What's Joe toughest on you about now after these three weeks? What, what's he been tough with you? With? He just, he has to tell me to stop. <laughs> he's like, man, you need, to, you need to chill out because he's like, you're a maniac. So it's really like, we have such a good connection that, you know, if he has to tell me to pick it up, like, Say I'm like hitting the bag and, and then I start moving and talking. He's like, all right, get back to the bag. Like you're working. So a little, maybe sometimes little things like that. But really, we're training hard. I mean, that's what it is. Well, fighters are even tougher on themselves. Yeah. What yeah. are you toughest on yourself about right now? If I ever feel like, say I'm training and I feel like I'm not giving a hundred percent, I'm like, what am I doing? Snap out of it. Work, 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 work. So. I try to pay attention to my body and how it's reacting, or if it loses focus, I get right back into focus. So I'm always like constantly reminding myself, reminding myself, and how can I make it harder? You know what I mean? I was running in the rain yesterday. The rain thought I wasn't gonna put the work in. I said, fuck that, I'm going in. It started raining harder, the thing started poking me in the eye. I said, work, 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 because most people would've stopped. So I thought to myself, Hmm. Most people would have stopped. So if I do it right now, then I'm doing something nobody's doing. That makes sense. Well, you know, San Diego is the home of the Marine Corps. You know what the Marines say? Oh yeah, we love rain. If it right? ain't raining, you ain't training. Oh, let's there go. You I go. like that. Yes. I like that. Let's that's go. it. That's it. To reflect on your journey, I know the ultimate goal to become a world champion. You, you, you pass so much, though. You got the house now. You got the car. Yeah. You got it out the mud. You know. Yeah. And, and have you had a chance to reflect on your journey? I have. I have, and 
you know, it really teaches you to just be so grateful. You're blessed, you know, a lot of people put in the hard work, you know, sometimes luck don't go their way, you know. So I'm just blessed, grateful, you know, I take what I take and thank you God and just keep moving forward. Even though, like one thing I learned during this time, don't complain about nothing. You know what I mean? It's rain, don't complain, work. You know, you hurt a little bit, don't complain, work. You know, no complaining. God don't like complaining. So you just go to work. I'm going to keep passing my notes to go, but um, Javante Davis just said that his contract is up after his next fight. I'm yeah. wondering whether it's just confirmed that to fight hype. Um, your thoughts on that? Does that make the fight easier with Javante in the future? Does that make it easier to do? I think so. I think so because Mayweather would always say that he's only fighting in-house. And they're only going to keep it within themselves. So this does open up doors for us to get that on. So I think now there's a real strong possibility we make it work. And okay, your thoughts on him question. being a free agent, like just in general, he'll have a lot of options, you know, you won't be the only one, but you'll be yeah. one of the biggest ones. Yeah, I think that um, as a free agent, obviously you're able to work with anybody and that makes it way easier. I mean, it's like common sense, you know, like, oh, I don't have to fight on the zone or I don't have to fight on ESPN, I can fight anywhere. So. I think that it just makes it way easier for him. Last one, you think he'll be open to that, working with everyone, Javante? Uh, I think, I don't think he's weird like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think that he'll fight anywhere. He'll you know? take the toughest challenge. Yeah, yeah, I think he's, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't think that he's like scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, cool. We should Ryan, we just, had, we just had the Oscars. Best boxing move ever. Ooh, Cinderella Man, easily. Cinderella Man. <laughs> Thank you, guys.